Welcome to Makeup Rehab. All right, today we're going to do the foundation drawer and concealer drawer. Um, first thing I'm going to keep is the Kat Von D Lock It Tattoo Foundation, 24 hour wear. I never know what color this is it. This is in. Mm, yeah, I don't know. But yeah, that's what that is. It's the only like high end foundation I have, so I'm just gonna put that aside. This is the Garnier uh, Light to Medium BB Cream. I've had this forever, and it's still okay. I don't know. Does it have an expiration date? I don't know. Do they? Do they have an expiration date? I'm gonna look and see if it. If I can find an expiration date and it's expired, I'm gonna get rid of it. If not, I'll keep it for a little bit longer. Try to use it up. Um, there's not much left in here. I do like it. Um, it gives you a very dewy foundation, dewy <laughs> coverage. Um, SPF 15 in it. Um, it's a really nice, cheap drug store. Alright. This is the Body Needs Mixing Medium. Um, you can use this for pretty much anything that you would use a mixing medium for. I'll leave um, the Body Needs website down below, but I really like this stuff. This is the Stila Stay All Day 10 in 1 HD Beauty Balm with SPF 30. Um, I'm pretty sure there's only one shade of this as well. Yeah, it doesn't say. Um, but I love this stuff. It's actually almost gone. So I'm going to finish this up. <clears throat> this is the Olay Fresh Effects uh, BB Cream in Fair to Light. This came in... Um, I think this was an influencer box. And this is actually expired. 2007-2014. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this then. Because I don't want expired products. Um, this also gives you a very dewy coverage um which is fine but i just feel like it never like sets so i'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this because it's expired this is the first foundation i bought um when i moved to maryland and this is the maybelline fit me concealer i'm sorry foundation in 120 uh what color is it 120 doesn't say it's got SPF 18 I really like this foundation um but it's probably extremely old um I do notice that when I put it on like I said it doesn't set so even with powder and then it starts to get cakey so I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this this is the CoverGirl Outlast Fabulous Outlast Day Fabulous 3-in-1 foundation in 820 um, creamy natural. This is one of my favorite foundations. As you can tell, I'm almost done with it. It's gotten to the point where I have to unscrew it and scrape it out like that. But I'm almost done with it, so I'm not going to get rid of it. Um, but yeah, this is February of 2015, so yeah, I'm going to keep that. This is a new foundation that I tried. Um, I have a video on it. I'll go ahead and link that down below. This is the Revlon Nearly Naked um, foundation in 120 Vanilla. I got this on clearance at uh, CVS. Um, you'll have to watch the video to see what I think about that, but I'm going to go ahead and keep that. Okay, moving on to face products. This is the Bare Minerals uh, Powder Foundation in Fairly Light. As you can see, I haven't really used very much. Um, it's got the locking thing. Um, I don't wear this, so I'm going to go ahead and give this away. This is the Mineral Veil. Um, does this one have a locking thing? No, it doesn't. This is just so messy, and I don't really wear powder foundations like this, so I'm going to go ahead and give this away as well. This is the Laura Geller, uh, what is this? Balance and Brightening Foundation in Medium. I'm going to go ahead and give this away. I don't really use it very much. I don't know. Something about, like, powder foundations, I just don't. I'm going to go ahead and give that away. My favorite concealer of all time, Maybelline Instant Age Rewind uh, Dark Circuit circle corrector or circle yeah dark circle eraser in light pale um just a heads up don't ever rip the sponge off it's a horrible idea it doesn't blend out the same the hd the nyx hd photogenic concealer in where do you put the colors nyx oh um beige i really like this concealer it does have a funny smell if i can remember correctly yeah it's got a funny smell and i haven't had it very long does it say an expiration, expiration date on these things? Yeah, I was going to say, I haven't had it very long, so I do like that. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in da, 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 uh, White. And this has a doe, doe foot applicator. I really like that. <coughs> Ooh, excuse me. 
this is the Milani HD Advanced Concealer um, in, does it have a color? In 01. It's got a brush tip. It's one of those ones you click on the end. Um, I actually use this as, let's see if I can get it to work. I got this at the Dollar Tree. Um, and I actually use it as like a highlighter. So I just, you know, obviously squirt it on my hand and then, you know, blend it out. It does blend out really nice. Um, I don't know if you guys can even tell now. Um, so I use that as a highlighter. I really like that. This was a cheap buy because I just needed something. Um, this is the NYC Smooth Skin Pressed Powder. Um, this is in the translucent color. Yeah, translucent. Just a white powder. Um, I'm actually going to go ahead and give this away. It is pretty smooth, um, but I'm going to go ahead and give this away because I don't really use it very much and I don't want it to sit in my collection. I'm going to go ahead and give that away. Okay, so concealers I'm keeping. Mixing medium can go in there. And foundations. As you guys can see, I don't have a big foundation collection. I don't really use... Once I found a, find a foundation, I stick to it. Um, so yes, these are the products I'm going to be keeping. Um, yeah, so that is my foundation drawer. Stay tuned for the next video, guys.